Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today, we're just doing a good old fashioned anti-haul, sort of, I might buy something, I don't know. I need y'all's help. I need to know what you guys think as well about some of these new launches. Let's just jump right into it. There's a lot of palettes. The first one I wanna talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 4 eyeshadow palette. Now, of these like big pro palettes that I've seen them release, this one is, is one that actually looks somewhat usable to me. The issue that I have with them is just that I feel like the color stories are just kind of all over the place. Like I feel like they literally just pulled colors out of a hat and stuck them in the palette. I've also heard that the formula of these pro palettes is not quite the same formula as their other palettes. Like as the, so this is, <laughs> this is the Norvina palette, but I've heard that the formula of these palettes is not the same as the formula of these Norvina pro palettes. So I haven't heard that they're like bad formulas. I would be very interested to try it but it's $60 for this big old palette with this like kind of all over the place color story. I just am not loving it. It's something that I would love to have, but definitely not going to spend the money on. <laughs> this palette from Juvia's Place. This is a palette I would rather have than the Norvina one. It's also a little bit more affordable. It's $36. What I really like about this palette is it is very colorful, but if you kind of look at the columns of the palette, like if you go down the vertical columns, each sort of column is a nice little like four shade combo. So it's kind of like you're getting five quads <laughs> in here. I really just, I really like the setup of this palette because it makes it very kind of user friendly. It's a little bit more cohesive of a color story to me anyways. So it's called the Wahala palette. It's $36 for 20 pans. That's not bad. You can also use code TRENDMOOD to get 10% off at Juvia's Place. Again, it's not something I need. And like, frankly, at this point, any eyeshadow palette that comes out is not anything that I need. <laughs> I have too many eyeshadow palettes, but they're always so tempting, right? And this one is just really beautiful. I don't need it. So I'm probably not gonna get it, but I definitely thought about it. <laughs> so we have yet another $53 eyeshadow palette, eyeshadow quad from Charlotte Tilbury. We're calling this the luxury palette of mattes in desert haze. It's one of those things that's like so expensive that I just really want to try, that I just really want to try it to see if it's worth it. But I, I don't want to spend $53 on an eyeshadow quad for four brown matte shadows. Girl, what? No. I, I really like Charlotte Tilbury. Like I, I like the products from Charlotte Tilbury that I have. What products do I even have? I have like a lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> I think that's about it. I have lipstick and I have that, I have like a little mini magic cream. They're both really nice and I would love to try more from Charlotte Tilbury. I just feel like it's so expensive. Looks like Charlotte Tilbury also put out some uh, bronzers. Anytime there's a new matte bronzer released by anybody. I'm like, oh, I want to try it. I don't know why, because I really hate trying bronzers that suck. Like, I really don't like bad bronzers, if that makes sense. And I have like several bronzers that I already really love, but I just get so like excited about bronzers for some reason. I don't know why. But these bronzers are $55 each for one little bronzer compact. Are you kidding me? So, no. No. So what did y'all think of this Huda mascara. Did y'all hear about this? I guess they made some kind of claim that they're like clinically tested or proven or something like that. And everyone was like, girl, it's mascara. What are you talking about? <laughs> Looks like a double-sided mascara that's got like a volume side and a length and curl side. Ooh, $27 for this mascara. That's crazy. It's really hard for me to want to buy an expensive mascara, especially when there are so many good cheap mascaras out there, you know? Like maybe you would buy an expensive eyeshadow palette to get a formula that's that's like so nice, but something like a mascara, it's like, do I really need to buy a super expensive mascara? 
And if you watch my channel, you might be like, Haley, what about that Tom Ford mascara that you bought? I did buy a $47 Tom Ford mascara. And like, honestly, that mascara was it. Was it worth $47? No, and I'm probably not ever gonna buy it again. I mean, I might if I like win the lottery or something like that, but yeah, I don't know. It's just like whenever a, a more luxury type brand launches a mascara, I'm just kind of like, why should I, why should I entertain this? All right, did y'all see this Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette? Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. This is the Mothership 8. Divine Rose 2 palette. I hopefully got my <laughs> Roman numerals right just then, but this palette is stunning. This palette is stunning. I've never tried any Pat McGrath eyeshadows, but like I hear so many good things about Pat McGrath eyeshadows. I would, oh, just, I want to try it so bad, but it's $125. And the color stories don't always resonate with me. The color story on this one really does. I love these like pinky, burgundy, kind of champagne-y type of colors. This is just really pretty. There's some kind of like rainbow duochrome VR Sextra Terrestrial is the name of that shade. That's very interesting, okay? <laughs> but gosh, it's so pretty. I will not be purchasing this though. I will dream about it. We'll fantasize about it, but I won't be purchasing it. I also really loved this new collection from Guerlain as far as like the packaging goes. Obviously, I don't know how the products work out, but something about these little highlighting balls really appealed to me. I don't know. The Meteorites Brazilian Frizz. Meteorites, that's cute. Tati has talked about Guerlain's little highlighting meteorites before, and she says that they're actually really good. So I'm very tempted. Oh my gosh, excuse me, eyelash. So it's very tempting. I feel like my anti-haul is just kind of like me being like, I would love to have this, but I can't afford it. <laughs> Not anything I need, especially like this blush bronzer duo. What is this called? Terracotta Brazilian Beach Bronzer and Blush, which is like just kind of mixed in in the, in the pan. So I don't totally understand that, but it's cute. It's beautiful really pretty. I'd love to try it, but not gonna. Nope. Trendmu just posted this today. This, I was like, what in the, what is this? I guess it's by, I don't know how you say this. King, Queen, King, Queen? I don't know. Q-I-N-G Beauty Shop, the Brazilian Carnival Palette, 99 shades. Is that, is it really 99 shades? One, two, three, nine, ten, eleven. 99 shades, what? That's crazy, a big 99 shade palette for $50. Jeffree Star's out here selling a 24 shade palette for $58. We'll get to Jeffree Star's palette, don't worry. <laughs> this is just one of those palettes that I'm like, what would I even do with this, you know? Like, it's just too big, <laughs> it's too big. So this is where I really need y'all's help. The next couple of products are the ones that I've been debating on getting. The first one I'll talk about is the freaking Lunar Beauty launch. I'm so mad because this went live today, these products, the blush palette and the glosses, and I got on the site at noon, which is when they were supposed to launch, and they were already sold out. And I commented on their their IG and I was like, WTF, like why was everything sold out right away? Some people were like, you have to refresh the page and it came up like a couple minutes later. I tried that and it just was always showing that it was sold out. So I was really mad because I was like, literally the time it was supposed to launch is when I got on the site and it was already sold out. The bundles anyways, I think the palette and the glosses are still up there. But even if I were going to get the palette and one lip gloss, that's $52 for the blush palette and one gloss. And the bundle was $60 for three glosses in the palette. So I'm like, the bundle would have been worth it to me for just the palette and one gloss. I just don't see, I don't know. That's still just, that's just more than I wanna pay. I'm just mad that the bundle sold out. <laughs> I think now that the bundles are sold out, I probably won't be getting it. The blush palette is really pretty and I was really excited to try it, but I just don't know. I, I'm like, a, I'm, I'm salty that the bundle sold out to be completely honest. 
And for that reason, I don't think I'll be purchasing anything from this collection. Although I wanted to, I really wanted to. Okay, the other one that I'm having trouble deciding if I want to get or not is this Stupid Love palette from House Labs, the Lady Gaga eyeshadow palette. I don't have anything from House Labs and I've been wanting to try the brand. They just haven't put anything out that I've been like, ooh, yeah, I want to try that. You know what I mean? And I saw this palette and I don't know, I'm very like lukewarm about the palette. Like the color story, it's a lot of blue. I was like, why is there so much blue in this palette, you know? And then like a couple of pink shades and like one orange shade. And if, you know, when I looked at the, the um, eyeshadow looks that like they had on Gaga in the pictures, the eyeshadow looks are really pretty. I actually really like the looks that they did with the palette. Like, I, I, I kind of like it, but also I'm like, do I? You know what I mean? Like, if it wasn't Lady Gaga's palette, would I still be interested in buying it? Probably not, to be completely honest, but I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about it. And then finally, we have Miss Jeffree Star's cremated eyeshadow palette. Kind of the same thing as Gaga's palette. Take Jeffree Star's name off of it and I really would not be interested in buying this palette. And whenever I first saw like the pictures posted of it, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. Pretty much every palette that he's released up until now, I've been like, ooh, yeah, I like that. Like even the conspiracy palette, I was like, yeah, that's, that's a cool palette. He has also caught a lot of flack for like the theme of this collection, but in all fairness to him, he did have this like planned out well ahead of, you know, the whole COVID crisis and everything. So I don't think you can be too mad about that. Like I told, I totally get why people are upset and why people feel kind of offended by it. But it's, I mean, I just, you know, I, I get it. Like this, he had this idea before that. So like, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? Just scrap the whole project? I, I kind of get that from a business standpoint. So, so when I first saw it, I was kind of like, eh. but then I watched his reveal video and he's an excellent salesman, folks. He does a really good job of selling. And I was kind of like, ooh, maybe I should get it. But I don't know, like the more I think about it, the more I look at it, would I really get a lot of use out of this palette? Probably not. I do like my cool tones, but I just don't know if I need this many like gray shadows. There is that like special, what's it called? Extreme Sparkle Metallic Formula. There were a couple of those shades in the Bloodlust palette. I'm actually wearing one of them today. I really like those shades and I would be interested in this palette for those shades, but that's really all that I would be interested in this palette for. Also, I should mention, that I watched a video from, I think his name is Sebastian Williams. I'll try to remember to link that in the description, but he did a video where he had DM'd Jeffree Star and like asking him about the controversy behind the collection. And Jeffree Star responded by saying like, I had to get it out because I've got three more launches coming in 2020. So, I'm kind of like, you know, I might just skip out on the cremated collection and wait to see what he comes out with next. You know, I think that they're supposed to be like a more neutral kind of nude palette that I would be more interested in than this, I think. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think between like Gaga and Lunar Beauty and Jeffree Star. What do we think is worth the splurge? I mean, I really don't need anything right now. <laughs> I don't need any any makeup ever. I have a ton of makeup, but I like to collect makeup. <laughs> so anyways, what do we think is worth it? Should I just completely skip out and see what comes next? Let me know what you guys think. I am very interested to hear y'all's thoughts on it. And I need help. Like, what are you more excited about? Are you like, Haley, what are you talking about? Get that ABH palette. <laughs> You know, let me know what you guys think. I always love to hear from y'all. Thank you so, so much for your positivity and support. I really, truly appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you'll come back and watch another one soon. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.